Meriki is a short film uh, stop motion animation film that we are doing CG effects for as well. Uh, it will be two and a half minutes long and we're planning on doing our main uh, stop motion character interacting with the CG spirit character for the film. We did stop motion mostly because of its uh, unique medium and Taylor and I both liked building things, working with our hands to create the set, to create uh, this kind of real guy who gets to stand in front of us. It's really cool to have something like that. It's different. Meriki is a story about a wounded warrior that stumbles into this forest clearing um, and he finds out that this clearing is actually home to an ancient spirit shrine and the spirit is in the shrine is in bad shape the shrine's ruined it hasn't been paid homage in a long time you know and he's wounded he is in bad shape too and as he goes through this journey he realizes that this scary spirit that he encounters actually isn't really out to get him but he's in need of help as well so Meriki puts his life and his passion into saving the spirit and then in the end uh, you'll see it comes right back and it's kind of like karma it comes back and heals him This is my first time working uh, in stop motion at this level, and so like being able to work with these like local companies, Purple Porcupine, and we go to Chapman University, so it's like super close. Uh, it's been really just cool because rather than work on like a really small budget, we get to expand, and, and this is really what like our four years at college has been all about is is building up to this point where we can work in a professional level studio. My customer was a couple students from Chapman University. They won a grant for doing a stop motion video uh, that was getting entered into a film festival. And they wanted to create the some of the armor for their main character and a couple of its tools that it would use in the, in the movie. It's like where art meets additive is a very, a very neat process and you get to see things come to life that way. Uh, for this particular project, I was mostly working on coloring and applying texture to the parts for color 3D printing. Especially within stop motion, because they're having to do so many rigging between scenes, uh, the J750 is really a game changer there. But overall, just for artistic applications in general, it opens up a lot of possibilities to designers and inventors that you don't normally see. It's great to be working with Pur Purple Porcupine because uh, there's so many aspects of like designing the armor that it could have just been a lot of time consuming of just designing each individual piece, but uh, by 3D printing it, it made it much more streamlined and uh, affordable and it was something that we were really excited to work with. And once we finally saw the finished pieces printed, it was like we've designed our own toy action figure pretty much and now we get to animate with it. So it was uh, really exciting to see.